but the excitement, especially after a rehearsal tonight, and hear things come together and, and hear it start to mesh, has me now excited for tomorrow's rehearsal and see what happens with that. Bonjour. 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 My name is Catherine Gunther. I am the co-director and music director here at Pensalkin, and we are doing Beauty and the Beast. And I am David Nicholas, affectionately known as Big Dave. I am the co-director and teaching artist here at Pensacon. Um, I had no intention of ever doing this, but I uh, was asked to come up to the high school and there was a need for it. Um, and I wanted to give an opportunity to students and um, I, I just kept asking friends for guidance and help and just got a great team together um, and we've just we've had fun making shows for years. I've, I've been a performer professionally for almost 15 years now and you know there's that cliche where all the actors say but what I really want to do is direct and it's 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 not like that for me it's not a power trip thing it's it's getting to orchestrate the pieces coming together and and seeing how to get you know, especially these kids, to interact with each other and to, and to create something, again, to create something out of nothing, to teach them how working together and moving together helps create something beautiful. Theater is more than just getting up on stage and doing a show. Uh, it's, you know, we've talked about this a lot. There are, there are skills that doing this teaches you, not just as an actor or a performer, but as uh, uh, somebody who's gonna be out in the business world or out as a as somebody who works with their hands you know you're going to need to negotiate something you're going to need to memorize something you're going to need to present something to somebody and those are skills that you learn here um, the hard skills that the that the tech team learns with building sets and creating props and i'm, I'm covered with styrofoam it's it's <laughs> learning those skills how to how to work with your hands how to make something from nothing is a skill that's transferable beyond the stage and I, I think what's great is the fact that no matter what your comfort level is, there is a spot for you. I was never a kid who wanted to stand out from that perspective. I did not like speaking in front of people, but I was a dancer. I loved being in ensembles. Um, so there was a spot for me in shows. And some of the people that I did shows with, even as a freshman in high school, I'm still friends with. Um, so it, it gives everyone that opportunity. If they don't like to be on stage, they can be behind stage. And we have some kids this year that were backstage last year and are now on stage this year. So it, it, it allows a lot of flexibility there to try new things. I love getting these kids to do things that they never thought they would be able to do. Um, it really is amazing watching kids who have never danced before end up by the time of the show and they are just glowing on stage or the kid that has never sung a solo before and they have that one line um, or an entire song that they have having never sung before um, and just seeing that transformation of one kid or all of the kids um, is just so, so powerful. And I, I could watch it time after time. Finally getting across to, to, to a kid or a group of kids that the answer to the question, can I, should I, or may I, is always yes. And seeing what they'll come up with when there are no restrictions, when the handcuffs are off and they can do whatever they want to do and just try and just play and see what they can come up with. and really see the pride that that generates in them because there, there, there is no limit and there are no restrictions and, and letting them just be. This is the one place I think here where they can really do that and it's, it's, that really keeps me going. Getting to, getting to do that with them every day and see something new. Jen is like the third lobe of this brain. Yeah. You know, Jen, Jen has the, the, the movement knowledge that I don't have that meshes entirely with Kate's movement knowledge and we can all finish each other's creative sentences to a certain mm -hmm. extent when it comes to when it comes to dance and choreography, when it comes to blocking, when it comes to vision, when it comes to the creative direction to go. We know before anybody of the three of us says it 
yeah. where we're going to go with it. And having that, that kind of trust and, and knowing that they, they get it is, is really important and is really great. We all kind of met each other at one of the lowest points of our lives mm -hmm. and then all came back to work with each other um, at the best parts. Yeah. And it's really neat to have just been there time and time again as the go-to people for each other. That if one of us is having a, a, a rough day or a rough time, um, we are each other's first calls mm -hmm. of just, I need advice, I need a shoulder, I need coverage. Um, and we always know that we're going to have each other for that. Um, our slogan for Penn Stock and Stage is, is take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I think first and foremost, that started with the three of us. Oh yeah. Um, and now goes out to all of the students, but we, we absolutely um, have each other's back 1,000%. <laughs> That's absolutely terrifying. Uh, it's the cone of uncertainty, you know, narrows the further you go down and, uh, and the further you go along in the process of creating a show. So right now, you know, before you start, there's this wide swath of uncertainty you know what are we going to do how are we going to do it are we ever going to get this done is it going to work and as you proceed over time that cone narrows and there's more and more certainty as you move forward there's never no uncertainty but starting from scratch and you know squeezing the colors onto the palette and saying okay uh, where do i put blue is is a, is a daunting uh, uh process every year but by the time Tech Week rolls around and you know the, 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 the thing is ready to be put on its feet and go, that's always a, a magnificent feeling. And it, it shows what all of us can do together. Not just you know, me and Kate and Jen, but the, but the entire group of kids that we bring in to, to work on a production. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think terrifying is is good but i think it's also like i just find it exciting because so many of these kids have never had any experiences like this unfortunately many of our students um, will never step foot in a dance studio they haven't had private voice lessons um, at this point they're lucky enough that they can take one of the classes that i offer during the school day so to see them latch on to the, the little bits of skills that we can throw at them and see that fire ignite is exciting. And then to see it just develop. Um, this show is terrifying because there are so many props and costumes to build. And I don't think we've ever had that before. Nope. But the excitement, especially after a rehearsal tonight and hear things come together and, and hear it start to mesh has me now excited for tomorrow's rehearsal and see what happens with that. So um, it's, it's just the excitement of seeing, seeing the ball continue to roll through the show is, is a lot of fun for me this year, I think. Absolutely. That's it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you can We got that on camera. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs>